I want to welcome you to the University of Illinois Plant Clinic today. What we'll be looking at are some corn seedling diseases. Certainly, this is a concern for producers throughout Illinois, especially as we're coming off a very wet spring. So we got a sample of field corn in. We require that whoever is sending a sample in, go ahead and fill out a form and tell us a little bit about what they're actually seeing in the field. Well, they're concerned about these little spots. So that's a symptom. That's part of the diagnosis. The next thing we actually look for is what's called a sign. And this is some actual part of a plant pathogen. It might be a spore. It might be a bacteria, it might be a virus, it might be a nematode. We have a number of different types of pathogens. So we'll take a look here under the dissecting scope. This type of lesion most frequently is caused by a fungus, and we'll see whether or not this has the characteristics of a fungal infection. So this little black dot is a fruiting structure called an acervulus, characteristic of a fungal disease that we get on seedlings in Illinois called anthracnose. The other thing we need to look for besides this fruiting structure, there'll be little black spines. And I do have them. This is caused by the fungus Colletotricum graminicola. The next step I'll want to do is actually make a slide. And what we'll be doing is going into the fruiting structure, cutting a piece of that, and seeing if we can find the spores of the fungus. Now, what if this isn't actually sporulating when I receive the sample? We might need to actually incubate it in a moist chamber to actually get spores produced. So we'll move over to the compound microscope and I'll be looking for spores of the actual pathogen so that I can confirm that that's what's present. So I have a lot of spores. They're the right shape, size, and type for Colletotricum graminicola. So I think for this sample, we can call it Colletotricum graminicola, or what we're seeing is seedling blight of field corn.